Alright, uh, today I'm going to make a quick tutorial video about the bearing but then in this video I will focus on the hot questions or you, you might call it KVAT question which is the bearing question which I think is is more difficult compared to the previous video I made so yeah so over here I will actually provide two examples and then both of these examples I actually get from the Pan Asia which is one of the publisher in Malaysia Alright, so let's have a look on these questions. Okay, so given that the bearing of M from L is 300, given uh, and then calculates the bearing of L from M. So basically, you will see a diagram here. So what's so difficult about this question is, uh, I, I think one of the reason a lot of students think this question is difficult is because of the direction of the north. So because the direction of the north facing this direction, so normally what I will do first for this kind of question is I will add the north for K and for M also. So, okay, so what I do here is I will add the north here. So I'm, I just want to make sure it is parallel. So yeah, so I basically I will add the north here and I'll add the north here. Okay, it's not so parallel. Let me let me make it as perfect as possible okay so i have all the north for m and k all right so okay so let's have a look on this question so okay the first thing is this sentence okay the bearing of m from l when i say from l means the angle actually at the l there so first thing is i will find the north of l this is l so the north of L is over here and then the angle going to rotate clockwise 300 degree until I touch the lines uh, which is connect M and L. That means until I touch this line. So okay, this is how I rotate. I from the north here, I'm going to rotate until I touch the line. Until I touch the line of LM. So basically this is all the angle. And then the angle over here is 300 which is given. Okay, so the angle for this one yeah uh, which is 300 degree all right and then the diagram also tell us that this triangle and then this angle for this triangle is 70 degree that's mean if from north of l rotate until lm here is 300 so something i can for sure is the angle from the north to here is 60 degree that mean if here is 70 degree i know another 10 degrees over here okay this is some information you must get from the uh from from the 300 there because one cir one circle basically is 360 right so if you know this well from north over here is 300 definitely you know over here is 60. so after you know it's 60 you use the 70 the minus 60 you will get 10 here all right then we can do the rest so part a first of course, in the real SPM exam, you you won't have A, B, C for this part because bearing only come out in paper one, which is the multiple choice question, All right? So, but then this is uh, I got the question from the reference book, All right? So for A, L from M, L from M. That's mean from M angle should at M there. So that's mean I will need to start from the north of the M and then I rotate until I will touch the line, uh. ML. All right. So okay. Now you will have some problem here because you do not know what is this angle. So this is what we will try to find. All right. So if the whole thing here is three, uh, is three hundred. Let me see what we can do. Yeah, we can do the Z. Do you see the Z here? Okay. This is the Z. So if here is sixty degree, I I think here will be sixty degrees too. All right. So if he, here is 60 degree also, then I believe he will be 60. Okay, so I, I hope you actually can see the alternate angle. If you can't, maybe I can sketch for you. Because both of these lines is parallel. So, because they are parallel. So basically, we can do something like this. Because they are parallel. So we can do something like this. The 60 degree here, we same with the 60 degree here. And because the one straight line is 180, so basically, I can know here is 60. Alright, then the question asks for L from M. That's mean from north of M, I'm going to rotate until I touch the line. 
LM. So basically, this is all the angle I want. And then obviously, it's 60 degree plus a 60 degree. So it will be 120. Okay, for the first one. Right, for the second one, it's L from K. That's mean the angle basically at K there. So K is here. That's mean from the north of the K, I'm going to rotate clockwise. I'm going to rotate clockwise. Cannot rotate any clockwise. Eh? Must be rotate clockwise until I touch the line KL. Means until I touch this line. So for this case, I will need to find some angle also. So, okay, so I know here is 60 degree. So here should be uh, 120. Because these two lines are parallel, right? When they are parallel, you should see some interior angle. Means if this two line is parallel, angle A plus angle B must equal to 180. If this two line is parallel, this two line is parallel. So angle A plus angle B must be 180. So because of this information, here is 60 degree. And then I have a line here. So I know here is 120. And then definitely I can get the angle inside the triangle because this triangle I have two angles 70 and 60 which is 130 so this one will be 50. So if I know both of this one so what I can do is yes then I, I can easily got the answer. So from the north here rotate until here then it. So I just use 360 minus 170. So this one is just 360 minus 170. Yeah, 120 plus 50. Yeah, that's why I get 170. Then I should be able to get the correct answer, which is 190. If my math have no problem. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, for C. Okay, M from K. That's mean M from K there. So that's mean from the K, from the north of the K, I'm going to rotate until I touch the line uh, MK. So from the north here, so let me change other color. Um, maybe I just try some other color. Okay, red color maybe. Alright, so uh, where is K? K is going in here. So basically, I'm going to rotate from here until I touch KM. Basically, it's the whole angle here. Okay, so basically, we already got 190. If from here to here, then it. So I plus another 50 is very simple. So it's just 190 plus another 50. So basically it's 240. Now the last one is very simple because we already find we already find the L from K. So M from K basically is quite simple. Yeah, so that's mean you rotate the whole thing here. Just plus another 50 degree. Yeah. So okay, this is one of the hot questions. I I mean the reference book say this is a hot question. So yeah, I I'm going to teach you another one. Yeah, so let's have a look on the another one. Okay, so for this question, the only difficult part about this question is you don't have any diagram at all. So in order to solve this kind of question, you have to sketch out the diagram. There's no other way you can solve it without a diagram. Now the problem is a lot of students cannot imagine out what actually the bearing diagram will look like and then they do not know how to sketch. So uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit, uh, teach you some techniques on how to solve this kind of question. Right, so let's have a look on the question first. Okay, so at first, okay, ra uh, radius lift from S to T is at the at a bearing of 220 from S. So from S, we know the angle basically at S here. And then, of course, you have to able to like imagine 280 degree, 280 degree will look like how? So if I sketch a north here, so we basically know 270, uh, 280 degree is more than 270. Until here is 270, right? 280 just slightly bigger, just 10 more degrees. So basically I know from S and then I go, go up if you look like that, all right? Or you can think you might have an 80 degree here because 360 minus 80, you get 280, yeah. Either way should be correct. So yeah, so I'm going to sketch something look like this. This will be north. So since I know this is S, so so the S will basically from here. So here will be 80 degree. Or you can say the whole thing is 280. It's fine. Yeah. Either way is fine. Okay, this is S. Alright. Then the next one is then he continues his journey to you 
which is at the bearing of 190 degree from T. So the angle should be at T. So for first thing is this one is from S to T. So now you from the T here you will have another uh, 100 you will have another 190. So let me sketch a north first. So 190. So first thing is if this is 180, 190 just a little bit more, right? Just 10, 10 degree more. Right? So because straight line is 180, right? Here is 180 plus 10 is 190. So this is how I know where is a hundred. So let me use another color just not to confuse you. Uh okay, green color maybe. So this is imagine this is a straight line. So yeah, this is so it will be 10 degree here okay or you can say the whole thing is 190 it doesn't matter or you can say here is 170 okay or you can say here should be 100 <laughs> yeah either way should be fine so the uh, something important is th this one is t so okay so he continues his journey to u so basically he will go to u and at the bearing of 190 so this is one 190 okay so the whole thing here should be 190 yeah, I must get the idea and then I will have the U here so I will sketch the north of U first then I will write the U alright then last last is the question say T U S is 28 degree T U and S is 28 so I'm going to make a straight line I mean I will I will connect them and then here is 28 degree okay according to the question T U and S is 28 degree Alright, so this basically this is my diagram. Okay, then find the bearing of u from s. So you want to find the bearing u from s. That means you have to know from the north of the s you're going to rotate until here. So yeah, something you will need to solve is you have to solve the triangle. I think. So yes. So, so okay. So let's have a look on how to solve this triangle. So okay, first thing is the in uh internal angle. So if here is 100, is here 80, here will be 100. I mean, here is 100 because both angle plus together should equal to 180. So therefore, I know this is 100, here is 80. So because both plus together is 180. Okay, then because this is 190, so I know here is 90 degree. Because 190, right? 190 minus 100, you still left 90. So the whole thing here is 90 degree. Okay. So if here is 90, here is 58, then I can easily know this angle. So this ang angle basically will be 52. So if here is 52, we can got the answer already. So therefore the bearing U from S, that's mean from the north of the S until I rotate, touch the line US, is just 280 minus 50, uh, minus 52. Then you can get it, which is 228. Okay, yeah, this is the answer. Anyways, I hope you do learn something from this video. Yeah, if you have any more questions, you just uh, post a comment below. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Or you can, yeah, you, or you can text me on Telegram. I will share the links of the Telegram. If you have the, the Telegram, you just add the channel and add the groups. Anyways, thanks for watching.